you everyone. I'm so glad that you've come by. This is Stefa in The Secret Place and we're getting ready for Christmas this season, getting closer and closer and I was thinking about uh, different aspects of the Christmas story as I was reading the scriptures. I thought I'd, I'd just start with the scriptures and I'm in Luke 2 today so if you have your Bible and you want to turn there, great. Otherwise let me read it to you, okay? It's a very short passage about Jesus' parents going to the temple after he was born. And um, some elderly man named Simeon, known as a prophet, was waiting for the Messiah. And he was really thrilled when he saw Jesus. Something inside of him leapt, and he pointed that out to Mary and Joseph, um, that um, this was the Messiah. This was the long-awaited one. And then, um, starting with verse 36, the scripture says, Now there was one, Anna, a prophetess, the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was of great age and had lived with a husband seven years from her, uh, from her virginity. And this woman was a widow of about 84 years who did not depart from the temple, but served God with fastings and with prayers night and day. And coming in that instant, she gave thanks to the Lord and spoke of him to all who looked for redemption in Israel. So when they had performed all things according to the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee to their own city, Nazareth. And the child grew and became strong in spirit, filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was with him. I thought this was really interesting uh, because, you know, we're all kind of waiting for Christmas to come. Uh, and for some of us, it's coming upon us so quickly. We're not ready for preparations, a holy day, a holiday, family day. Um, and, and others of us, are we just can't wait for it to come. Um, especially maybe if you're a little child, you're thinking, I can't wait, I can't wait. Well, I'm thinking about Simeon and Anna, who both saw the child Jesus at the temple that day. And their hearts were so filled with joy because what they had been waiting for for so long was coming to pass. They saw Jesus not in his adulthood and in his redemptive acts, but they saw him and they recognized him. They were close to the Lord. How did they recognize him? How do prophets and prophetesses uh, know the truth? There's something inside them in their spirit of the Holy Spirit, which reveals to them. They see. Uh, it's a seer, someone who sees the truth, can proclaim the truth. And certainly Simeon and then Anna did proclaim the truth. But I, I wanted to encourage your heart today because I know sometimes um, my own heart needs encouragement from the fact that, you know, we're waiting so long for, for one thing or the other, for an answer from God, an answer for our personal life, something that uh, is troubling us, uh, a besetting sin, uh, a, a, a direction for our future. Um, it can be any number of things, but then there's the, the really the wider kind of lonelier uh, type of waiting, the meta waiting, the, the waiting for the kingdom of God to come in its fullness. We're waiting for the new heavens and the new earth. We're waiting for the Lord to speak his word and bring justice to this earth. We're, we're walking around with deep, deep empathy for those who are hurting and maybe ourselves as well. Um, we see the, the crime and the pain and the darkness around us and the pandemonium sometimes. And we say, Lord, Lord, when? We're waiting for you to move. When will you move? And we don't know. Who knows? No one knows the time or the day or the season. But I think one of the things to encourage us during this season of awaiting the celebration of the baby Jesus, of his birth, is to remember that there will be a celebration. And there is a celebration. There is a time. There's an appointed time, my friends. There's an appointed time for everything. And the Lord will move and act in his perfect, perfect appointed time to bring justice to the earth. And he will move and he is moving in your life, your own life, and mine 
to bring about those things that he has promised, to bring about those things that he that we have set our heart upon. His, his will, his love, the transformation of our soul, healing for a loved one, um, a place in this earth to, 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 to minister, to love, to work, um, to find purpose. He is bringing that. And sometimes I just want to say, it's right under our nose. It's right there, right there within grasp, but we don't have eyes to see. And that's what I'm going to talk to you about next time. But for now, I would just like to say, Merry Christmas. It's coming. And uh, the Lord is with you. The Lord is with us. Do not grow weary in your waiting. Let's, let's encourage one another to not grow weary, to stir our hearts and to look toward the Lord, Lord in his perfect timing and to trust, trust that he, he knows best. Bless you, friends. Bless you. This is Stepha from The Secret Place. Have a great day.